Hello folks and welcome. MX23.3 XF CE Desktop, their flagship. I'm filming in 1080. Now my videos are being uh, viewed all over planet Earth, so there's a lot of folks out there that speak different languages. And um, that's one of the reasons I speak a little slower. I also speak three languages. But more importantly, um, there's a lot of viewers out there that are non-English speaking and uh, maybe need a little bit more attention to language. And uh, I may mispronounce words occasionally. I try not to, but more importantly, that's why I speak in a lower tone sometimes because of those folks that are out there. And I get messages all over the world in different languages. More importantly, folks, welcome filming in 1080. Today, I'm going to talk about a video that is made for medium to advanced users, lesser known terminal commands lesser known terminal commands. Shouldn't be too long though. Filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription key in the corner if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, 400 videos and growing on all kinds of things. So this is MX23, XF CE desktop. Let me make that larger for you. Control shift plus 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 a couple of times. So Mark is our made up name user for today. Some of you folks may know what these are, and some maybe not so much. Do we know what a DU is? How about a, an option of SH? It just says 1.3G on it with a period. Well, let me open this up for you so, using Thunar, your file manager. Everything starts from root. So the home folders here for all of our users on this system today is uh, Bob, Joe, and Mark. Mark is our user for today, and all three of these are made-up names. Mark, right-click, properties. 1.288, 1.3G, close enough. Rough usage on Mark's home folder. All right, we can view this also differently. We can uh, change that option from SH to AH. Some of you folks know this, some maybe not so much. Right above Mark's name, 1.3G, okay, punching up clear. So I'm going to uh, unmount some drives. Uh, I don't know if this one is mounted. I will unmount that one. I think this one is already, yeah, this one is already unmounted. So I'm going to talk a little bit about disk information for a second. So you already saw the the um, the command for total usage, but we can talk about DF now. So DF uh, has two commands that you can use at your fingertips to display information. This is in raw bytes, and the DF with also human readable. But it can fool you from time to time because the next command that I'm going to be showing you in a couple seconds or maybe a minute is going to be the F disk command. It will show me the size of the drives, um, but not usage, but uh, it doesn't matter if they're mounted or not, as long as they're plugged in. So right now, let's using the human readable, the only difference on these two screens here is it's just broken, broken down in a different math formula for you. So we're still looking at the SDA2, which is our booted in drive for MX23, the partition I, is what I'm referring to. It's 15% in use. That part hasn't changed. It's just the calculation has. So this is SDA2 and SDA1. And I'll show those in a minute. The other two hard drives are currently not being viewed. So I'm going to mount one of these. And close. And then rerun that command and it will appear at the bottom of that uh, screen. It will be called dev NVMe. So that ended with temp PFS, and this next line now is a new line with the mounted drive with the usage in here. I'm not gonna mount the other drive. I'm just gonna leave it there. But we're gonna view this in a different way, punching up clear. We know what man pages are. If not, we can always look up stuff. There's the DF command. I'm going to hit Q and MANDU command. So DU, DF. Got that so far, hopefully. All right, Q to quit. 
DFDU, man pages, manual pages, we can look up commands. So this command here, if you just run it straight, fdisk-l will fail. It's going to complain. I have three drives, permission denied, permission denied, permission denied. Boy, that's redundant. Well, that's because I need sudo in front of that. Um, assuming that this is uh, for home use, um, so you put in your sudo password after you do this. So it's sudo fdisk space dash small l, as in Larry, enter. Password for mark is, and we now have data. And we have lots of it. This uh, wonderful little command here can give you a wealth of data in terminal. So that tells me it's an NVMe drive. It's roughly 931 and change GIB format. Another translation is one terabyte. You can see the raw bytes right there. Western Digital, WD Black. All right, identifier, if we care. Next drive, SDB. 476 GIB, 512, roughly. Time Tech is the model. Disk identifier, if we care. All right, SDA, 238 GIB, 256. Also Time Tech. If you notice the model number is spelled with an uppercase and that one's lowercase. I'm assuming that the firmware coding was done slightly differently, but it is made by the same company, it looks like. Serial ATA, 256, or 238 GIB, however you want to view that. Desk identifier here, a little different coding. Let's talk about the SDA1 and 2. So this is SDA, the primary drive on booted MX into. The first partition of SDA is EFI. You can see the size of it. It's rather large, actually. SDA2 has a star next to it, which is the boot. So this is MX23, XFCE desktop. A lot of information just from one little command. Punching up clear. We can talk about system information, too, if you're just looking for kernel information extended kernel information, and just general information also. We can also talk about your IP address, your host name. Let's do that one first. This computer is not interfaced to the public, so I don't care about if you see the rest of the string, but I'm going to put in host name, space dash big I. Make sure it's a big I, otherwise you won't be able to see that correctly. Do man pages if you're not sure. One, uh, anyways, that's the IP address with the rest of the string in there. Four sets of numbers, 192, 168, 1.225. Doesn't exist on the internet. Punching up clear. Let's talk about just the general um, information on your Linux kernel. The simple one is uname. Uname-R. Very simple, very easy to read. 6.1 series kernel ends with a 23. If I wanted that extended information, I change that to an A. And I get some more information such as date. If I wanted full system information, then we can talk INXI. And I do suggest for you folks that have not used the INXI command is to do MAN space INXI. And you will see how many different options there are. This is the one I used to use on my previous channel, which is closed, and I sometimes display that. And I like that because I'm filming, and it strips out personal information, but gives me just enough information to show you everything in the system, pretty much. Overkill? Maybe so. Linux kernel matches that up here. Distro is MX23.3, codename that. It's based off of what? Debian 12 bookworm. My motherboard information is here. That's the model number. I can actually copy, paste that into a web browser and get information on it. CPU, graphics card, audio, network, Bluetooth, hard drives. Well, well, too much information, right? Yeah.
pretty much. I and XI. We can do all kinds of things with these commands. You ever heard of PS tree? Maybe not. Using my computer mouse to scroll back up to I and IT. Init. Keep in mind, there's a lot of folks that are non-English speaking out there. That's why I'm talking a little bit slower. I do that constantly because I do respect the fact that there are folks out there that don't always speak English. I'm one of those. English was my second language. I'm going to move on and punch up clear. So man ps tree to get a definition of what that is. Display the tree of processes. You can use your computer mouse to read all of this stuff if you'd like. You can also use the internet to get info on some of these commands. There are tons of commands out there and I'm up to 11 minutes. I just wanted to present a couple of them today to have a little bit of fun. We can do du dash sh and get a quick and dirty of how much your home folder is using. We can do a df dash h if the drives are all mounted and uh, I'll mount the last drive now which is this one. And then I'll have a complete path. Oops, permission denied. Okay, that's another one that's been pre-assigned. All right, I strike that one. I thought I had permission to mount that one. But you can see uh, that I did get basic information in fdisk. So again, that would be sudo fdisk dash l enter. And that was uh, the B drive, which is this one right here. The one I don't have current permission to, to mount. Or at least this user doesn't. Thank you for watching.